from the Victory Studios in downtown Little Rock, this is Capital View. Good Sunday morning to you and welcome into Capitol View. I'm Mallory Brooks. Thanks for joining us this morning. Congressman French Hill is back in Arkansas during a brief recess. He joins us in studio this morning on Capitol View. Thank you for joining us Thanks, today. Mallory. Thanks for the invitation. A lot of things happening in Washington. I want to begin with a big story, really a devastating story that we will be talking about for some time. The two mass shootings that happened now two weeks ago. Um, you recently put out a statement saying we are in a dark place in our civil society. What needs to be done at this point? Well, I said that because I, th I think I share the feelings of so many people in the country about what we've seen with addiction, losing 75,000 people a year to addiction, the rate of suicide, our challenges with our veterans and veteran suicide, these mass uh, killings that we've experienced over the last uh, few years, and then just the rampant violence in our urban areas. I feel like we're in a dark place. And I said that I hope that we could all come together for enhancements to public safety, uh, enhancements to uh, life. I think all of us are the antidote to a better environment on social media, working together to find solutions to some of these challenges. Uh, so uh, I was down about it and I called on the president to bring civic leaders and religious leaders to the White House and have almost a summit for uh, not only prayer for coming out of that darker place, but ideas on how to heal our, our, our society. What are some of those ideas, in your opinion, that need to be done? Well, I think a lot of it, we are an antidote on social media. We've talked about social media and the anger that's built up there, the resentment that's built up there. I think all of us have a responsibility individually to model good behavior on social media. I think our elected officials, from the president to members of Congress, have a high standard to model good behavior in their civil discourse. That, I think, lowers the tone. On substance, there are things that we can do to enhance public safety. I appreciate Governor uh, Hutchison and the president having school safety as a priority this year as we go into a new school year. Our schools are better prepared for having a safer place for our kids. School started this past week for most of Arkansas. You have kids that now some of them have bulletproof backpacks at this point. The control debate continues to come up every time these, this happens. What are, what are your views on gun control? Well, I think we can do more than we have on background checks. Uh, we've proposed in Congress a fusion system where the FBI works with local law enforcement to try to identify people that are uh, potentially at risk. We changed the law in 2016 for people who are a danger to themselves or others to make it easier for them to get mental health treatment, for the law enforcement to work with them. We uh, passed money to improve the background check system. We had one of the uh, great crimes out in Sutherland Springs, Texas. The person had a dif dishonorable discharge, but they weren't in the background check system because the states aren't spending the money to load that data in. If we want a safer environment, we need to make sure everyone who's currently prohibited from access to a deadly weapon or in the background check system. I want to talk about a meeting that you recently had with Little Rock Mayor Frank Scott Jr. You had a roundtable discussion talking about opportunity zones. Tell us exactly what this means for Arkansas and what the plan is at this point. Well, in the uh, president's tax reform plan that lower rates for Arkansas family cut taxes on business to encourage business to come back to the U.S., there was a provision called Opportunity Zones, which over a 10-year period eliminates capital gains tax if you make investments in our toughest census tracts, where we have the most poverty. And I was pleased to partner with uh, Mayor Scott to bring policymakers from Washington to work with community leaders on how do we get investment in those zones, how do we take advantage of it. What I like about this proposal in the tax bill is it extends those benefits to businesses. Mm -hmm. Many times real estate has gotten these tax breaks if you build homes or apartments in a low income area. But this allows us to locate businesses in those areas, employ people, and they get a tax benefit. And so right now, I know you had this meeting. What came out of this last meeting with um, Mayor Scott? Mayor Scott's formed a task force here in Little Rock to take advantage major zones here that extend from the airport all the way to uh, the university corridor to find ways to work with the private sector and to encourage that investment. Okay, U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement continues to be a hot topic on yep. Capitol Hill. Where are we in the negotiations taking place? Is progress being made? Yes. 
So President Trump wanted to renegotiate NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement. He got that done over the past two years. It's now ready to go before Congress and be approved by the House and Senate. I support it. It is an improvement over NAFTA. It will help Arkansas farmers and Arkansas producers. But it's being held up right now by Nancy Pelosi, who's the Speaker of the House, who's still pressing President Trump for changes. Mexico's approved it. Canada has approved it. I think for our economy and for all of our producers and for the 100,000 people in Arkansas that are employed because of USMCA, I want to get it through the House this fall. What do you expect? Do you expect it to go through? I do. I don't see how the Speaker will stand in the um, way of this deal, which is a big improvement, will help uh, the United States be more competitive, and is a good replacement for the old 25-year-old North American Free Trade Agreement. Anything else in Washington we should keep our eye on that will be happening over the next few months? Well, we've got this two-year deal on spending, uh, which uh, I supported reluctantly because it fully completed the buildup in the military that had gone through a 10-year decline, and that's important to Little Rock Air Force Base and Camp Robinson. So that's important to get those final spending bills uh, completed. But I hope that we can persuade President Trump and leaders in Congress to figure out ways to uh, address mandatory spending programs that are now 72% of our budget. I, I think it's no secret that uh, we are seeing a lot of division at this point, which you've always seen in politics. But right now, yeah. it just seems to be getting nasty. Can we ever come back where people can meet in the middle at some point? Well, we get a lot of bipartisan work done mm -hmm. in Congress, and you know that from covering it closely. Mm -hmm. But if people just watched uh, nightly cable television between mm -hmm. 7 p.m. and 11 p.m., you would never know that. But we've compromised and got in funding for border security and mm -hmm. for border humanitarian purposes. We've compromised and gotten the kind of defense, uh, defense readiness money that we need. So we do this, uh, but you're right. For 240 years, we fought, but America always comes together on the important issues, mm -hmm. and we just have to keep working at it individually and collectively as parliamentarians. You're right. There are good things being done. Yeah. They're just not always talked about. Not always talked about. I think that needs to change completely, but still a, a long way to go with several issues. I want to circle back on quickly about social media. You talked about it earlier yeah. and how you think that makes a big impact. Recently, a Missouri senator introduced something that would limit social media, um, trying to get people and, and companies to take away the addictive features of social mm -hmm. media. Could that happen and would it make a difference? Well, you've seen Twitter and Facebook uh, report to you your screen time mm -hmm. now. It comes up on your, your mobile device or your computer. I think this is an issue for personal responsibility. If you're a kid in the 60s, your parents limited your TV mm -hmm. watching, said go outside and play. If you were a kid in the 90s, your parents probably limited your uh, music listening or your video game mm -hmm. playing. We need to make sure people use personal responsibility when it comes to social media in tone and total amount of, of time consumed. Congressman French thank Thanks, you Mallory. for joining us Great on Capitol View. We appreciate you for making us time for us, and we are back after a quick break. You are watching Capitol View on Sunday morning. We'll be right back.